Hi YouTube, it's Josh and I'm back now for another astrophotography video and I'm here in Somerset once again but photographing something that I have never captured before. So I think tonight we'll have a go at some nightscape astrophotography. Watch this video to find out more! Okay then guys, so I've literally just got to the top of Bruton Dovecote and I just wanted to show you this really quickly just to get your guys' opinion on this. Look how bright that playing field is! All of those floodlights, that is going to be such a problem when photographing the dovecote tonight because of how much light pollution is spilling off of this thing. But again, this is the reason I'm, why I'm doing what I'm doing, so that I can get images to demonstrate this. But still, it's a bit extreme, right? Right then guys, so, first composition of the night. So right behind me is the Bruton Dove Coat, and I've got a really difficult situation on my hands. The composition is absolutely beautiful, the Milky Way looks like it's coming out the top of the Dove Coat, but look at the light pollution behind me, this is so sad. And so I'm presented with a situation tonight where I'm really going to be tested to my limits. I need to be experimental, thinking about your shutter speeds, your aperture, your ISO, how they work in combination also, and as much as it's a bit controversial, creating composite images. Composite images in the world of astrophotography can be a bit of a dilemma, because it's not true to exactly what you see. But the idea by creating composite images Yes, you're using different exposures for, say, your foreground, but also your background subjects, but you create that vision of what you see on the night and you reflect that in your photography. So I'll give it a go. Hopefully the light pollution won't be too bad, but we'll see what the results are like. And as you can see from the other side, we have the winter constellations. So the dovecote in this situation has been really good because we can capture the late summer triangle where we can see the remains of the Milky Way galaxy literally setting over towards the west horizon. But now we're positioned towards the east, we can see some of the major winter constellations. So we've got Auriga, we've got Gemini, Taurus, and literally just on the verge of the horizon, we have the famous constellation of Orion. So we've been presented with a number of situations. You can probably see with my breath, I got dragon breath tonight, which means, yes, it is very cold. And because of that, the lens which I'm using now, my Sigma 14mm art lens, could very easily get condensed. So I'm currently using my Kuwu lens heater, fancy name, connected to a battery pack so that it keeps it nice and warm and prevents any condensation from forming on the lens. So fingers crossed, we'll get some images. I think we'll have a go now trying a few test subs and seeing how they go. See what they look like now. I tell you what, as I'm just making my way from the dovecote now, it's been such a magical evening, like it always is. When you get that moment to connect with the stars again, it is such a lovely thing. It's like when you see the constellations, especially the winter ones, right? It really feels like you're connecting with old friends again. You haven't seen them for a year. They come back <laughs> and it's been really good fun. So I'm just making my way down the hill now back to the car. 
but just reflecting on a couple of thoughts from tonight, it's been really spectacular, thoroughly enjoyed it. All right then guys, I think we'll start heading on back to the car now, but I just wanna say thank you very much for watching this video. And as always, if you can please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my social media channels to follow my latest work. And here's to clear skies and all the best. Thank you for watching.